The BRICS nations are developing a new currency to reduce global reliance on the U.S. dollar. This effort aims to enhance economic integration, diminish U.S. influence, and offer an alternative for international trade and finance. In the first week of June, Russian President Vladimir Putin announced this initiative during the St. Petersburg International Economic Forum. The concept of a BRICS currency gained more attention following the 2008 global financial crisis, which exposed vulnerabilities in the global financial system dominated by the U.S. dollar. In 2022, during the 14th BRICS summit, Russian President Vladimir Putin highlighted the need for a new global reserve currency to reduce reliance on the dollar and euro. To facilitate cross-border transactions among member states, the BRICS pay system was introduced. It leverages digital technologies and blockchain to provide a secure, transparent, and efficient payment platform. This system is seen as a precursor to a more unified BRICS currency. In 2024, BRICS nations announced plans to create a digital currency payment system, leveraging blockchain technology to enhance financial integration and reduce reliance on Western financial systems like SWIFT. During the 27th annual St. Petersburg International Economic Forum, SPIF, held from June 5, 8, 2024, Russian President Vladimir Putin confirmed that BRICS is actively developing an independent payment system. This initiative aims to be immune to political pressure, external sanctions and abuse, providing a more stable and secure financial infrastructure for the member countries. Putin emphasized that this new payment system is part of a broader strategy to reduce reliance on the U.S. dollar and Western financial systems, aligning with the BRICS bloc's goal of de-dollarizing the global economy. The system is expected to utilize advanced digital technologies, including blockchain, to ensure efficiency and security. This move is also seen as a response to the extensive sanctions imposed on Russia by the U.S. and other Western nations. Additionally, the system is designed to facilitate transactions that are cost-effective and convenient for governments, businesses, and individuals across BRICS nations, which include Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa. The potential integration of Ripple's XRP ledger blockchain for cross-border transactions has also been discussed, highlighting the ongoing exploration of various technologies to support the payment infrastructure. Putin emphasized the significance of Saudi Arabia, Iran, the UAE, and Egypt joining the BRICS group. This expansion is seen as a strategic move to challenge Western economic dominance and reduce reliance on the U.S. dollar. The newly expanded BRICS bloc will represent approximately 46% of the world's population and 37% of the global GDP in purchasing power terms. Moreover, the inclusion of major oil exporters like Saudi Arabia and Iran means the bloc will control nearly 42% of global crude oil output, potentially facilitating trade in alternative currencies. Let's take a quick pause. Could you do us a favor? If you enjoy our content, please hit the like button. To help even more, leave your thoughts and feedback in the comments. Your engagement helps us grow. Thank you. The International Monetary Fund, IMF, has issued a warning that the U.S. dollar could face a significant decline if the BRICS nations, Brazil, Russia, India, China, and South Africa, gain control over the energy sector and begin trading in their respective currencies. This potential shift comes as the BRICS countries explore alternatives to the U.S. dollar, particularly for oil and other commodity transactions. The IMF's concerns are rooted in the ongoing efforts by BRICS to create a new currency that could challenge the dollar's dominance. This new currency could be backed by commodities and supported by the economic strength of the BRICS nations, which includes some of the world's largest energy producers. The alliance has been working towards reducing their reliance on the dollar, with Russia in particular, advocating for a BRICS-based accounting unit to facilitate trade within the bloc. Furthermore, the geopolitical landscape is shifting as countries reassess their trading partners based on economic and security concerns. This realignment could lead to a decrease in the dollar's usage in international trade, as BRICS and other countries increasingly use local currencies for cross-border transactions. At a recent event on the future of the international monetary system hosted by the Stanford Institute for Economic Policy Research, Gita Gopinath, the first deputy managing director of the International Monetary Fund, IMF, discussed notable changes in China's foreign exchange reserves. She highlighted that the share of gold in China's reserves has risen to 4.3%, compared to less than 2% in 2015. Meanwhile, the proportion of China's foreign exchange reserves held in U.S. Treasury and agency bonds 
has dropped from 44% to approximately 30%, indicating shifts in both valuation and net purchases. Gopinath framed these changes within the context of increasing geopolitical tensions and the fragmentation of global trade. She noted that trade and investment flows are increasingly being influenced by geopolitical alignments, posing significant risks to future economic growth. This shift is part of a broader trend of de-dollarization, where countries are reconsidering their reliance on the U.S. dollar in favor of other currencies, driven by economic and national security concerns. J.P. Morgan Chase & Company, a leading multinational finance company, has highlighted significant global economic transformations, particularly the increasing de-dollarization efforts by BRICS nations. This shift could have far-reaching implications for the dominance of the U.S. dollar in international markets. BRICS, Brazil, Russia, India, China and South Africa, has been pushing to reduce reliance on the U.S. dollar by trading in their local currencies and developing a BRICS currency. This effort is seen as part of a broader strategy to weaken the U.S. dollar's global reserve status and reduce the influence of the U.S. on the international stage. Russia and China have been particularly active in this initiative, with significant bilateral trade conducted in their respective currencies instead of the dollar. J.P. Morgan has forecast that these de-dollarization efforts could precipitate an unavoidable crisis for the U.S. dollar. The firm's CEO, Jamie Dimon, has warned about the potential for high inflation and economic instability in the U.S., exacerbated by substantial government spending and increasing national debt. This situation, combined with the BRICS nation's growing economic clout, poses a significant threat to the dollar's long-standing dominance in global finance. Several countries are actively reducing their reliance on the U.S. dollar for international trade and financial transactions, a process known as de-dollarization. Russia and China have significantly increased their bilateral trade using their respective currencies, the ruble and the yuan. This move has been especially pronounced since Western sanctions were imposed on Russia in response to its invasion of Ukraine, leading to an 80-fold increase in ruble-yuan trade. Additionally, Russia and Iran are working together to launch a cryptocurrency backed by gold as part of their broader de-dollarization efforts. Saudi Arabia has also shown a willingness to diversify away from the U.S. dollar. The kingdom's finance minister has stated that Saudi Arabia is open to settling trade arrangements in currencies other than the U.S. dollar, including the euro and the Saudi rial. This openness extends to potentially pricing oil sales in yuan, particularly in light of China's significant role as a buyer of Saudi oil. Such a shift could diminish the dollar's dominance in global oil markets. In Southeast Asia, ASEAN countries are enhancing the use of local currencies for trade within the bloc. This initiative aims to increase regional financial integration, strengthen financial resilience, and mitigate the risks associated with reliance on the U.S. dollar. The region has also launched a universal quick response QR code system to facilitate direct currency exchanges for cross-border payments, bypassing the U.S. dollar. India and the United Arab Emirates have taken similar steps, finalizing an agreement to use their local currencies for bilateral trade. This effort is part of a broader strategy to diversify their foreign exchange reserves and reduce dependency on the U.S. dollar. In South America, Brazil and Argentina have discussed creating a common currency to facilitate trade and reduce their reliance on the U.S. dollar. These initiatives reflect a global trend where countries are exploring and implementing strategies to gain more financial and economic autonomy, thereby reducing their dependency on the U.S. dollar. That's all for this video. Thank you for watching this video. We sincerely appreciate you joining us today. If our content resonated with you or sparked inspiration, please consider expressing your support by liking it and subscribing to stay connected with our community. Your support holds immense value for us. You can watch another video of our channel which is now on the screen.